I think it's fair to say that the car industry is changing at the fastest rate we have ever seen. With the advent of electric vehicles, the complex and emotive pieces of machinery we have grown attached to are now dissipating at an alarming rate. However, this is actually having some other effects that may not have necessarily been apparent at first. In fact, many of us are now looking to years gone by to obtain our vehicular enjoyment. For me, modern classics offer an incredible compromise between driver engagement and practicality, being young enough to often meet our reliability demands, yet immersing the driver in what is an incredibly enveloping experience. In recent years, the modern classic coterie has expanded to become a fully developed sub-genre of car culture. The sheer range of vehicles available to people means there is quite literally a modern classic for everyone. From cars such as the E30 BMW 3 Series, to the Mark II Golf GTI, to the Fiat Coupe 20 Valve Turbo. And it is through the aggregation of these factors that I have come to the conclusion, now is the time to buy a modern classic. So you join me in my E30 Touring, a car that I've actually owned for the last couple of years now and I've thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed my time in it. I think one of the key things about modern classics is just the sheer scope, you know, as I've mentioned in that intro, of cars that it can include. And really for the purposes of this video, I'm going to probably be talking about cars from, you know, 1980, maybe up to about 2010, because I think really anything in that period, at least in my opinion, could be a modern classic. Now, of course, one of the main things about owning a car that is older is it's just unique on the road. You're not likely to encounter another one, particularly cars such as this E30 Touring, where I've actually really only seen a handful in my entire two year ownership period. So, yeah, you've always got that sort of unique factor. You know that it's just something a little bit more special than perhaps your ordinary cars out on the road. Another thing that I absolutely love is the history that these cars hold. I've actually been in contact with two of the previous owners of this car, one of which had some amazing stories. He owned it for over 10 years, and it was a car that was clearly cherished, and a car that was looked after, and a car that was really enjoyed to its full extent, and that's what I absolutely love. Everyone just sort of has these memories attached to these cars, and it's cool to be able to sort of carry that forward into the future through my ownership experience as well. If you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. It would help us out massively. And also, if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure to hit the like button below. In addition, if you own a modern classic, let me know in the comments below what you have. And maybe if you don't, let me know what you would like to have. There's no doubt though, these older cars are just so enjoyable to drive. Listen to that. Got an M20 straight six in this E30 and it just loves to sing right up to 6,000 RPM every single time. It's not an absolute powerhouse. You know, this thing isn't shifting at light speed. Um, it's just doing a job and doing it well and really just being an enjoyable car to drive. I think ultimately the modern classic market has many, many good options, some of which are true bargains. I only paid a few thousand pounds for this E30 a couple of years ago. Yes, they're worth a little bit more money now, but you can still find some great cars around that price bracket. And if you get a good one, you, you just can't get more for your money. It really is fantastic. I can't stress that enough. Every single time I get into this car, it's just an enjoyment. I look forward to driving it. And that's just not something you get with newer cars.
I think what you've got to think is back when these cars were made, back when these modern classics were, were new cars, and of course this does encompass quite a large period of time as I've mentioned, but they were just made in a totally different way and a, with a totally different ideology I suppose to the cars we have today. It's a very, very analog driving experience. I've got a hydraulic steering rack, I've got three pedals, you know, I've got a, a very mechanical shift mechanism. And it's just incredibly tactile. You can really feel those gears being engaged as you move the whole mechanism forward and backwards. And of course as well, naturally aspirated engines. Things that are disappearing so fast from modern cars. There's just a handful that still have naturally aspirated engines and yet they're just incredible. The way they can make power and you've really got to appreciate almost the simplicity of them as well. Heel a toe in. Oh, it's just, there's nothing better. I think it's also important to acknowledge the communities that also exist around these cars. You've got so many like minded enthusiasts, whether that be through car groups, through car meets, or just general owners that you come across, and they can all share those same experiences. And that's what I love about it. It's just something a bit more special. You're not going to get that with your ordinary off-the-shelf car. So I do think this is definitely one of the best times to buy a modern classic. The future is completely uncertain, we don't know what's going to happen. Electric vehicles are no doubt going to take over, and we can only hope that cars like this won't be outlawed, they won't be made illegal. So why not get out there while you still can, and while you've got all these cars that you can choose from, there's literally something for everyone as I've said, and buy one and enjoy it, and really just get the most out of those driving experiences. And yeah, own something cool as well. Be a part of a community. That's what it's all about. I hope you've enjoyed the video. That's all from me. I'll see you in the next one.